so I have a bride that's requested taupe eyeshadow for her wedding and thus the inspiration for this look today. I'm going to get my hair out of my face <clears throat> and I'm going to use some skin care. I think I'm going to use the, I already have the Uplift Firming Serum on and now I'm going to put on the Skin Perfecting Daily Veil from City Beauty. This is going to be my primer today. It has a silky finish. And I feel like it has a little bit of a blurring effect. Alright. Then I'm going to use my City Beauty Under Eye Recovery. I can wear this both under my eyes and on my lids without it messing up my eye look or it wicking into my eyeballs. I can, it doesn't give me blurry vision. <clears throat> Today I'm going to use the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the original Urban Decay Primer Potion on my lids today. I'm using my fingers so I can feel when it sets up. I'm putting it on the top and the bottom because I like to carry my eye look underneath too. It is a look to just do the top. But I, I, I dig having it in both places. Alright, the palette I pulled out today for my taupe eyeshadow look is the Scott Barnes Natural Palette. It looks like this. Oh. Okay, that that's the all that's all the lifting of the palette I'm gonna do today, since it decided to act like that. All right, and I'm gonna use the color Temptation, and I'm gonna use a. Kind of a fluffy pencil brush from the Jeffree Star Morphe collab. And I'm going to place this taupe above my crease so that you'll be able to see the eye look. And like I said, this is the color Temptation. I also like this one a lot for a brow powder. I'm still using the same color and the same fluffy pencil brush. Just in case they make this brush still, just not in this collab. It's a, a 12. I really like the pink handles. Not necessarily the pink bristles though, because I like to be able to see what's on my on my brush so I don't accidentally pick up place color somewhere where I don't want it. Alright, that Urban Decay primer potion is very sticky. Or very tacky. I probably should have set it before I went in. But this will give us the opportunity to see what to do when uh, eyeshadow is not moving. Not blending quite like you want it to. This probably would have been a good primer for that soft glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills that I returned. I 
All right, I'm going to bring the the taupe or the color temptation underneath also. The bride that's requesting this taupe look has ice blue eyes, and my eyes are not ice blue. Mine don't have silver flecks. Mine have green flecks. I need to find a lid color. I'm going, I am using an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette now. I'm going to use the color Custom. All right, the sun's rising. That's the color I'm going to use on my lid. I'm going to go in with my finger first. So it's similar, but it's also a little bit, I'd say it's a satin, not quite a metallic. And then to make that pop, I'm going to take the color blush from this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And then I'm going to take the color muted from the Scott Barnes palette. I'll try to lift this without dumping shadow everywhere. This is muted. I guess I'm just going to have to dump that out completely because I'm not going to be able to carry this kit anymore if it's going to... So muted is a flesh tone. Yeah, I really should have set down that Urban Decay Primer Potion before I started. It does not dry down like the Dose of Colors concealer that I've been using. It. I'm taking a, sometimes a Q-tip works. It's sometimes a Q-tip will pick up better. All right. Back to the temptation under the eyes. Now I want to work on my brows. And I guess as we're doing a taupe look, I'll kind of I'll just keep going in that direction and I'll use the temptation in my brows. So this is also a Jeffree Star brush from Morphe. I bought three sets of these brushes because I like the pink handle so much. When I lift my eye up, I can see some patchiness there. There we go. So Pat's out of town again. I think he's in Merle's Inlet. So, uh, it's almost 7.30 a.m. Like I said, this is my best part of the day is in the morning. Because I get up so early. So, I'm filling in. I'm also emphasizing the top part of the tail. Because I don't want my the tail of my brow to go down so so much. Ever since the fox eye was a thing, 
I've been kind of aiming more out than than down on that tail. All right, and then I'm going to use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter because it does seem to hold the brow powder in place all day. And I'm going to try to use the comb to comb the brows up. And of course, I've uncovered some holes, so I have to go back and hit those. I don't know what kind of weather we're going to have today. Alright, so back to the temptation. There's a hole there. And I always uncover holes here. There we go. All right, I still would like some more a, a gleam on my lid lid. So I'm gonna try this and then I'll tell you what it is. That way if it's a silly, 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 I'll, I won't have to admit it. This is the cream from the Huda 3D. I used this on a bride yesterday and she was over the moon for it. She says, as soon as I leave here, I'm going to buy that. I said, okay. I'm going to take the Santorini, which is the green one, and put that in the front here. I may put it over that cream too. I think I got bright too far in this direction. I'm trying to blur that out on the edges. All right, now let's see if we can find a, in my current collection, see if I can find, a, I think I do have a, a grayish taupey pencil. All right, that's perversion. I didn't know I had one of those. Good thing I didn't buy another one. This right here, is Kylie lipstick and I even used a lipstick a makeup remover to try to get it off and I couldn't get it off. What color is this one? There's another perversion. Boy I'm glad I didn't buy that. I am looking for I really don't know what I'm looking for. Something that was dark brown. Here's an Annabelle in gunmetal. We'll try that. I don't know if that's what the direction I want to go in. I'm putting it between my bottom lashes. And put it in my waterline. I'll be washing my contacts over and over today so that I can see. I think that works. It did not stick on my waterline. Let's get a, a fresh point and see if that makes any difference. I hate to use something that's so unavailable in the United States. But I will, I will link the pencil that I use. It is not sticking to the waterline. I guess that's enough. Alright, and then I'm going to put the perversion on the top. I also have the color phone number. That would have worked well. Let's see if that works better.
Yeah, that's what I should have used. All right, that's the phone number. Now we use perversion on the top line. My Botox is running, running out, and my eyes are drooping on the corners. So I'm avoiding a wing. All right, there's what we have so far. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and put that first coat of mascara on. I'm still using the Huda Legit Lashes. I'll use a different one in my next video. And I begin with the straight wand that is the volume wand. This is the legit lashes. And it's got, it's double ended. It's got one for volume and one for curl and length. So I have on Angel Muse today. I was in the cabinet where all my perfumes are and I saw it and I was inspired to wear it. Okay, that's the top lashes. All right, we'll let that dry and we'll move on to foundation. I'm going to use the and so I used the Daily Veil from City Beauty, Skin Perfecting Daily Veil. I used this as my primer, and now I'm going to use the Clinique on this Morphe brush. This Morphe brush is a 439, and I'm going to use this Clinique Even Better Clinical. I have the color Meringue. And you can see it's just blending right in. No problem. No peeling. It's not going to peel, peel, you know, ball up. Make little ball, Play Doh balls. The, some uh, skincare I'll do. Oh, and speaking of which, I have the. On my shoulders and my chest, I have the new Ultra Firming Dry Oil from City Beauty. The, it's, there's an upcoming launch. Keep your eye out. It's really, really has a pretty finish, doesn't it? It's for neck and decollete, but I put it, I spread it all, all the way out to my shoulders. Since my shoulders are showing most of the time this time of year, I'm going to get the Westman Atelier Biscuit. I'm going to use that today. As you can see, it's a, a nice, cool contour. I'm going to use it kind of both as a contour and a bronzer. I figure since my eyeshadow look is cooler. Alright. Now I'm going to pick up my brush that I was using for my foundation. And just kind of stipple that in. I don't want it to get too low. All right. And now I'm going to contour my nose. I forgot to do that. Oh, and I, sh I shan't forget to blend my, my jawline.
Let's get that for sure. That would be a faux pas, right? And now that I have my foundation on, I'm going to feather that out a little more. Add another cream product. This is a Stila watercolor blush in the color rose water. I'll link uh, probably one of those sites that carries discontinued stuff may have this. And I'm going to... While the camera was cooling cooling off, I put another layer of mascara on and I used the curling end of the Legit Lashes. I also put the concealer, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and Brightener underneath my eyes. And now I'm going to do lips. And I'm going to use the Becca Lip Liner in the color Chill. And then I'm going to use the Note Lipstick in the color uh, Nude. The sticker's in the wrong place. It's called, it's 01 Creamy Nude. And again, I will have someone tell me that my lip color is too light. And then I'm going to take lingerie pink. And put that up there. And that gives me a, a nice, we're keeping the shadows and the lips and the cheeks all in a cool tone. I need to pull out that contour stick again. There we go. Now I'm going to use the fit. Okay, I've used this enough times. I'm going to pull out a different powder. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Original powder foundation and the color I have is 12 and I'm going to hit the places that I don't want to be glowy. And I want to go back and hit my lips again. There we go. Now I'm going to... I don't... I feel like I need to add more cheek color. I don't feel like that's enough cheek color. Let's see if we can get there with the same product we were using without not without changing products. And it is called watercolor, but I don't know if I have a delicate enough skin color that watercolor is the optimal formula for my, for the look I'm going for. There, that's better. You just gotta not <clears throat> go ham and blend it away.
one more coat of mascara and I'm going to use the curl and lengthen end. It's got the curved wand on this end. And the Huda uh, 3D highlight. I'm probably just going to take the peach one. And since my cheeks are already dewy, I'm not going to use the, the creamy portion of highlight this time. Just the and the one I'm using is Ibiza. In the pan, it looks peachy. Alright. Let me make sure my eyelashes aren't... aren't stuck together. And I'm going to give them one more little squeeze. take my hair down. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this taupe eyeshadow look. Let me know in the in the comments if taupe is one of the, your go-to colors. Would you wear this if you were a bride? Thank you so much again and keep your eyes open for the new City Beauty product ultra firming dry oil watch for the lot i'll be announcing the launch for that and i look forward to seeing you again soon Ta -ta.